What's going on everyone? I am HBY Michael to those that know me better and I'm coming to you with my predictions for King of the Dots Back to Basics 4. Going down this Saturday, April 16th at The Bunker in Los Angeles, California. This event sold out within a matter of days and this is definitely going to be a very fascinating card considering that this is going to be the very first event to go down at the newly christened bunker. Avocado and J-Pro have taken a major step when it comes to these King of the Dot events as they've established a new venue for battles to take place. Right behind me, over at the bunker. The very first venue built specifically for battle rap. Before I jump into my predictions, I just gotta note two things. Unfortunately, Mad Flex versus E. Farrell is gonna be postponed due to E. Farrell being hospitalized just mere days before the event. I wish E. Farrell a very speedy recovery. Young Spice Rack is one of the most talented new rappers out and I wanna see him do well. And also there's going to be a day one card. That's right, this Friday will be a day one card for the GZ division featuring some newer battlers that you might be wanting to keep an eye out for. And that will be on the pay-per-view for free where you'll get to see such matches as Jeffrey versus Laughing Stock, Robo versus Progress, Essam versus Alias the Attic, Yak the Ripper versus the Kid Clutch, Bobby Lee Swagger versus Sam Colt, and Frack versus Everybody Knows. So let's jump into the matches for Back to Basics 4. First up, we have Peanut versus J Dose. I'm gonna give that battle 2 1 to Peanut. I think Peanut's gonna take the first and third rounds, while J Dose will take the second. J Dose has one of the best flows to come out of Philly, and Peanut is an underrated veteran. I don't think that Peanut's gonna go for the obvious angle and talk about how Dose got knocked out by Math Hoffa during their first battle, but I think Peanut's gonna have a solid mix of punchlines, angles, and flow, and I think he's gonna do what he can to take this battle. And after that, we have a matchup that I've been waiting almost a year to see, as finally, Carter Deems, the Cat God, takes on the Wolf, Head Ice. And for that battle, I'm gonna give it a special outcome. I think the fans are gonna win this battle 6-0, because each one of these guys' rounds is gonna be so spectacularly awesome. Head Ice knows how to bark on his opponents and talk that shit, and Carter Deems is one of the funniest and most layered MCs around in battle rap right now. This is gonna be one that you better look out for on that Back to Basics 4 card. And after that, we've got a match that is well over four years in the making, as finally, Caustic takes on T-Rex. For this battle, I'm gonna give it to Caustic 3-Zip. No body bag, but it could be a body bag. Considering that this battle is originally supposed to go down not only a couple months back at Blackout 6, but was even scheduled originally for Battle America of all leagues in 2012, I think Caustic's gonna have some serious ammo on T-Rex. T-Rex is a pioneer of the DVD era. He's battled from the Smack DVDs all the way to the main stage at URL and everything in between. And Rex has one of the most energetic and aggressive flows in battle rap, but I think Caustic is really going to pick things up a notch when it comes to his best trait as a battle rapper, and that's being a character assassin. And with Rex teasing on Instagram that this will be his last battle ever, I think Rex is gonna try to play some kind of reverse psychology with Caustic, but it won't be enough. I think Caustic is going to be on his A game for this battle. And for the main event, we have a matchup that was originally supposed to go down at Blackout 6 as Daylight takes on the former King of the Dot champ, two-time Scribble Jam winner, and two-time Jump Off WRC champion, Thesaurus. I'm gonna give that battle 2-1 to Thesaurus, as I think he'll take the second and third rounds, while Daylight will take the first. Daylight is one of the most unpredictable figures to have to prepare to battle. You could either battle the Daylight who's gonna be all antics, or you're gonna battle the Daylight who's gonna give you some of the best wordplay and heaviest hitting haymakers around. But I think Thesaurus is a wily veteran who will be able to prepare accordingly for Daylight. I think Daylight is gonna come out the gate with an uproarious first round of just haymaker punchlines and over the head wordplay, but I think the source is gonna do what he can to edge this battle completely. Even a decade plus in the game, the source still has some of the best rebuttals in all of battle rap. He has sick multis, he has sick punchlines, and he's got effective angles that can break down his opponents. This is gonna be a fantastic way to round out Back to Basics 4. And those are my predictions for Back to Basics 4, but I wanna know from you, who do you think is gonna have the best battle on the entire card? Who's gonna have the best performance? And what sleeper battle do you think is gonna be a highlight for the entire Back to Basics 4 card? 
Let me know down in the comments below. Back to Basics 4 is sold out. There will be no more tickets available at the door, so the only way that you'll be able to see this event go down live as it happens is to order that pay-per-view at kotdtv.com. For just $20, you'll be able to watch all four battles go down live in crispy HD quality at Back to Basics 4, and you'll also be able to watch the day one card for free live. And because this is one of the most interactive pay-per-view experiences around, make sure you tweet using the hashtag B2B4. Your tweets will appear in the updating Twitter stream showing up on screen during the interviews and commentary from Chris Mitchell of BattleRap.com and Fresh Coast veteran Dirtbag Dan. This is gonna be a fantastic pay-per-view, and because it's King of the Dot, you know it's gonna be one of the best pay-per-views around. But that's gonna do it for me. You're all fantastic. Continue to stay awesome, and I'll see you next time. Chip.